whenever we want to lift a load our muscles should be able to generate that much amount of force say suppose there is a load of 5 kg which i want to lift up in that case first of all my hand should be able to generate a tension or a strength of 5 kg and little bit more say 5.1 kg and then only it will be able to lift the load up right once it lifts the load what will happen that the muscle will start shortening okay so there will be bending of the arm so when it shortens there is a particular velocity by which it shortens okay now there is a relationship between the force which we are lifting and the velocity of shortening and as you see that as the force increases there is decrease in the velocity see this is x axis is showing force in kg and velocity of shortening is shown in y axis so here you see that at this particular force maybe it is 2 kg the velocity of shortening of the muscle is this much and if the force is say suppose increase to 5 kg then the velocity of shortening has decreased and this we can tell from our day to day experience also that whenever we lift a load if the load is heavy then the velocity by which our hand bends or shortens it is lesser so there is a maximum load which our muscle can lift right say suppose for me it can be 10 kg if the weight is 11 kg then maybe the total amount of force which they generate is not that much isn't it so 11 kg is my muscle cannot lift so this is known as maximum force right so for me it may be 10 kg and obviously if my muscle cannot lift that load then there will be no velocity of shortening it cannot even shorten on the other hand you see when force is zero then if we extrapolate this graph then there is a maximum velocity of shortening right so you can try this basically without any load extend your hand and try to flex your hand and flex with maximum strength of contraction which your muscle can generate so in that case there is no external load which the muscle has to lift and so all the strength of the muscle is being translated into the maximum velocity so that is known as the maximum velocity of contraction now this force velocity relationship is similar for skeletal muscle and the cardiac muscle both have the similar uh, force velocity relationship but this force velocity relationship changes that means the, the graph which you are seeing will shift based on two factors that is preload and other one is inotropy the concept of uh, preload applies both to skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle however the concept of inotropy applies mainly to the cardiac muscle so let us see what is this So here there is a force velocity relationship which is showing the effect of preload on the graphs and this is the first graph which we saw and this is the second graph now what this says that as the preload increases there is a shift in the graph now why it is happening you see suppose this is my hand okay and uh, now i have to lift a load say suppose 5 kg which is kept on my hand now when some load is kept on my hand what will happen that my muscle will stretch a little bit right this is known as preloading stretch of the muscle length will occur and because of this there is optimum overlap of the actin and myosin in the sarcomere in the muscle for this uh, we have dealt in length tension relationship in another video that how preloading causes optimum overlap of the actin and myosin that you can have a look so anyways i was talking that this will cause a little bit stretch and because of this increased stretch there is better overlap of actin myosin and we will get a better contraction increased force of contraction for the muscle what is this this is frank stalling law that when muscle length increases there is increase in the force of contraction so now you see what has happened that uh, here this was the initial force maximum force that is the 10 kg which i could lift but when my muscle length is increased the maximum force which i can lift is much more okay so maybe that when i am lifting it from the ground then the maximum force which i can lift is only 10 kg but suppose when something is kept on my arm maybe 11 kg also 
then because of this increased stretch this maximum strength of contraction which my muscle can generate has increased so i can lift even 12 kgs weight in preloaded condition so you see in this graph what has happened f max has increased and also for the same force say suppose here it was 3 kg or 5 kg i discussed about 5 kg this was the velocity right so this was the velocity of shortening now the velocity of shortening has increased why again same thing because my muscle is able to generate more force so 5 kg tension or strength will be used to lift this uh, weight and rest of the strength which my muscle is generating will be converted into velocity of shortening so that has increased but you see v max v max has not changed why because v max means here we have not kept any weight force is zero the load which we are picking is zero right so there is no preloading no preloading okay so muscle is contracting with it inherent strength of contraction without any stretch so that is why v max is same constant but even when there is little bit of stretching you see the velocity of shortening is little bit more so this was about force velocity relationship in preloaded condition now same thing though i am talking about in skeletal muscle same thing happens in heart as well that means that if end diastolic volume increases if venous return increases then the force generated will be more right frank starling law and the velocity of shortening will also increase now let us move on to another factor that is the inotropy and this inotropy is the one which mainly affects the heart and that happens because of the sympathetic activation and let us see how this affects the graph. So this is the graph showing force velocity relationship and what happens that if there is increase in inotropy which occurs with increase in sympathetic activity. Okay, so what we are telling inotropy is that Initially, I used the word that intrinsic ability of the muscle to generate the force. So, when there is increase in sympathetic activity, without stretching, the muscle can generate more force. So, if this is the length of the muscle and I can lift 10 kg force, okay, then with increased preload, my muscle length is this much and I can now lift 12 kg load, right? What increased sympathetic activity says that even when the muscle length is this only with increase in inotropy, inotropy, what I will do that my muscle can contract much better with more strength and still with this length I can lift 12 kg of load. So that is the effect of increased inotropy on the strength of contraction. So obviously you see what has happened that the f max has increased right that has increased also the velocity of shortening is going to increase because if increased inotropy i am going to lift 10 kg weight then my muscle is generating more force so that is translated to increased velocity of shortening right so that is why we are having you see increased velocity of shortening for the same this is the same force or here we can say what is load right so even though it is written force basically it means the load we are lifting and finally in this graph one thing also has occurred that maximum velocity of shortening has also increased v max has increased because as i told you with the same length the intrinsic ability of the muscle to generate the force has increased so the more force is being translated to increased velocity of movement so here though i talked about 10 kg 12 kg and explaining about lifting of the load but remember this inotropy applies mainly to cardiac muscle and basically it means after load okay so if after load is increasing then if there is increased sympathetic activity then the heart will be able to overcome that after load and that is f max so that was all about the force velocity relationship in skeletal muscle as well as cardiac muscle thanks for watching the video if you liked it do press the like button share the video with others and don't forget to subscribe to the channel physiology open thank you